We're joined by Dr. Meg Crook from the UVA Endocrinology Program today for our topic on our house call is thyroid nodules. Let's begin. How common are these? Just, I mean, I know there are different levels to be worried about, but how common in general? Well, Steve, thyroid nodules are very common. The risk of thyroid nodules increases with age. Thyroid nodules are found in about 10% of people age 20 to 30 and about 40% of people age over 70. All right, so what symptoms are we looking for, starting obviously with the most obvious? Well, usually they're actually asymptomatic. Um, if they're very large, they can cause some difficulty swallowing, a sense of neck fullness, or maybe some hoarseness. Usually they're picked up on a physical exam or during an imaging study such as a CT scan. And at, at what point is it something that's common and no big deal? At what point are you looking at, okay, maybe a biopsy is needed? Well, Steve, we usually start with an ultrasound first. We get a lot of information from an ultrasound. Depending on the size of the thyroid nodule and the appearance, we may recommend a biopsy. Some thyroid nodules can be followed with repeat ultrasounds, and if they're very small or very reassuring in appearance, they might not need even that. So in some cases, it's kind of, eh, don't worry, just kind of keep an eye on it. Let's say it winds up being something like thyroid cancer, then what kind of treatment are we looking at? Well, first, let me talk about some of the different outcomes you might get from a biopsy. 90 to 95% of the time, it will be benign. About 80% of that time, it's a straightforward diagnosis. Some of it falls in a gray zone, and we need to do a little bit more evaluation for that. And about 5% of it comes back as papillary thyroid cancer. Now, let's say you have papillary thyroid cancer. Well, this is a very, um, it's the most common type of thyroid cancer. On autopsy studies done in the 80s or 90s, anywhere between 20 and 35% of people had papillary thyroid cancer at the time of death, but they died for some other reason. Most papillary thyroid cancers tend to be very slow growing and not cause harm, but probably about 2 to 5% of them can be harmful. Because of that, we recommend that the thyroid is surgically removed. I refer all my patients to an endocrine surgeon or an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. I think it's important for the surgeon to have a lot of experience. Depending on the characteristics of the thyroid cancer, if it's needed, radioactive iodine can be used after surgery. The good news is, is that the vast majority of patients with thyroid cancer do very well. And so, therefore, for a thyroid nodule, the worst case scenario being thyroid cancer, we can generally treat that very safely and effectively. All right, Dr. Meg Cook, appreciate your time and your insight this evening. Thank no you. Problem.